Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your DualSense or DualShock 4 controller to your Apple TV, which is going to allow you to play games on the Apple TV with the PlayStation 5 controller. Let's get started. All right, before we begin, let's make sure you have everything ready. So first, you need to make sure your Apple TV is on. You want to make sure you have either a DualSense controller, the new PlayStation 5 controller, or a PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller. You can use an Xbox controller as well. The process should be very similar in terms of where you go. But for these controllers right here, first thing you're going to do using your Apple TV remote is just open up the settings application. You're going to want to navigate to where it says remotes and devices open that up scroll down to where it says bluetooth and open that and then from here we're going to put our controller into its share or connectivity mode and the way you do that on the dual sense controller is you're going to press on the playstation button in the middle and the share button at the top left so we're going to press both down at the same time give it a few seconds when you see it flashing like this, that means it's in its pairing mode. Now on your screen, you should see DualSense Wireless Controller. Scroll down to that, click the middle button on your remote. You'll see it now says connected. So we can use our controller now, our circle button to exit right out. We can navigate on screen with our controller. And then we can also download and start playing games with the controller at the same time. Now to find games that work with this controller, you want to open the App Store. Now from the Discover page, you can just scroll right down and there is a section that says play with a controller right there. And you can scroll through those games and check them out. Or you can go to the game section at the top and do the same. Just scroll down a bit right here, play with a controller. And you can kind of work your way through all of these games that support controllers. You can also search for games on Google and so on. I've downloaded a few here on my home screen. Asphalt 8, Sonic 2, and just to show you it does work. You can see right here we have the old school Sonic the Hedgehog. This is actually the one that was used on the Sega Genesis and now I'm using this with a PS5 controller. So whether you like these old school games, you can play those. There's shooters, there's racing games, and some more intense games and then you tie in Apple's arcade you can actually get really cool games there as well. Taking a look at a more advanced game here, so we've got Asphalt 8, and you can see the graphics right here coming from the Apple TV 4K. Pretty smooth, it looks really nice, and the controls work great. There isn't any lag, there's no issues when it comes to turning, steering, anything that you would expect on a console is pretty much uh, available to you here. I mean, you're using the console controller, on your system and with the ability to map out the controls a little bit better so that they're more custom for you playing like this is just that much better so i strongly recommend if you haven't been using a controller you've just been using the apple tv remote just grab a controller whether it's a ps4 controller ps5 controller or even xbox controllers get it connected and actually try it for yourself because honestly this takes the apple tv to a console like feel now when you're done playing, if you do want to disconnect the controller, you can. You can leave it connected, it'll connect when you come back to it another day, but if you want to use it again with your PS5 or PS4 or anything like that, open up the settings again. You're going to go to Remotes and Devices once again, and you're going to scroll down to where it says Bluetooth. Now from here you can just select the DualSense or DualShock controller, whatever you have connected, and you'll be able to just unpair it right here. Once you unpair it, you'll have to go through that whole process of connecting it again by pressing on the share button and the PlayStation button next time you use it. And then most likely, once it's unpaired from the Apple TV, to connect it back to your PS5, just plug it in right here using your USB-C cable and then plug the other end to your PS5 and it should recognize it again and you should be good to go with your PS5. Now, just to go over a couple of these settings while you're looking at uh, the controller here, the DualSense controller, you can see customization is on. That means that you're able to customize within different games. So we have Asphalt 8 right here, which is one of the games I was showing you. If you click on that, you can see what you can customize with all the buttons. So you can actually make the game exactly how you want it. So I'll just turn customization on. I'm using the remote for this. 
and I can just scroll down and change any of them. So if I click on the first one here, these are the options I have. So if I wanted the X button to do something different, I could do that and make the game exactly how I wanted. So keep that in mind. A lot of games are becoming more mobile friendly and when you tie it in with a system like the Apple TV and then a controller like the DualSense, you almost don't need a console and these are much more portable. So if you're going to a cottage or going to a friend's house or something like that, you can play and have a lot of fun with your small Apple TV. Lastly, just to show you uh, one more time, if we unpair the device here, we'll tap unpair on the screen. It's going to disappear from the screen right there. And like I said, if you wanted to bring it back, you would have to press and hold the share button and the PlayStation button together and then you can connect your DualSense once again. Now, one more thing in your Bluetooth settings of the controller, there is a section called Disconnect Device. So if you don't want it to stay connected when you're not playing it anymore, you can just click Disconnect, click Disconnect here, and you'll see that it's still going to appear in your Bluetooth options. It'll just be not connected. And if you ever want to connect it again, use your Apple TV remote, select it, click Connect, and give it a few seconds, it'll connect back, and then you'll be able to use it once again. So that's how you use your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to play games on your Apple TV. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. Also, if you enjoyed the video, help out the channel by clicking that like button and subscribing for more videos like this one. And if you do subscribe, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos. I have many more videos coming up on the Apple TV, new Apple devices, and really cool tech devices. And what we do here at this channel is not just unbox them, but I try to help you learn the most that you can from them. That way you can get the most out of the money you spent for these devices. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.